Afternoon, Hillwood family. My name is Terrence Bankett. I am the Dean of Students for this 2020-2021 school year. We are so happy that you are here with us on today. We are going to introduce our Related Arts team and talk about each of the different programs that your scholars are be, will be able to participate in the school year. Throughout this presentation, if you have any questions, please feel free to uh, put the questions in the QR portion at the top right of the screen. And at the end of the presentation, we will go over all of them. Um, again, I am so excited for the school year and we're gonna welcome you to Hillwood. Now I wanna turn it over to the team lead, uh, Scott Schumann. Hey Scott, you're on mute. Thank you very much. Sorry about that. Hey, everybody. Um, so the students are going to get two different options this year for related arts. Uh, the first option, students are, that are interested in performing with band or choir uh, can choose that, and they're going to be enrolled in that course for the full year. Um, and then if students are not interested in band or choir, then they have uh, the second option, which will be the general uh, related arts rotation. And that's going to include art, theater, physical education, and ORSI, and this new ORSI uh, course is going to be just for fifth and seventh grade students only. Um, we also offer rock band uh, for seventh and eighth grade students that are interested, and this class is going to meet twice a week during related arts time. So those are the kind of the options that you guys have. Um, now we're going to turn it over. We're going to get a chance to meet all the related arts teachers. So I think we have Miss Brantley's up first. Hi everybody, my name is Carly Brantley. Um, I am the choral director at HD Hill Middle School. Um, this is my seventh year at HD Hill and uh, my 12th year teaching. I got my bachelor's um, at MTSU years ago and I'm now currently working towards my master's degree at Austin P. Um, in choir, we usually learn to read music and to sing. Um, students who have no previous experience are welcome to choir. Um, with the virtual world, it's going to be a little challenging, um, and I know parents are probably concerned about performances. Um, we are going to follow whatever the district suggests um, and make everybody as safe as possible. I've got lots of great lessons planned um, covering all styles of music, so I'm really excited to get started this year. All right, next we have uh, Mr. DeBerry. He unfortunately couldn't make it tonight, <clears throat> but uh, this is eighth year teaching. This is first, his, uh, first at HG Hill, and he's actually the alumnus of Hillsborough High School. I know he's really excited um, and humbled to, to join the school and be the new band director. Um, so you can see up here, he's got you know a bunch of experience. He really enjoys music, and he actually has his own band uh, that he plays in the Nashville area. So um, students will get a chance, if they're interested in band, will get a chance um, to purchase their own, own, their own instrument or play a school owned instrument. Um, so it's a really good opportunity. I know uh, Mr. DeBerry is really excited about it. All right, hello everyone. Um, my name is Sarah Beth Bills. I am the new art teacher for um, HG Hill. I started in January, so um, I've been there for a few months and I'm excited to start back this fall. Um, so I received my bachelor's in art education from Austin P State University in Clarksville, Tennessee. Um, I enjoy sculpture, so 3D works of art are my thing. I love it so much. Um, so I'm always trying to think of fun ways to incorporate that in the classroom and the students have just really enjoyed that. So I'm excited to continue to try and incorporate that even in a virtual setting. Um, so in art, students will learn to paint, to draw, to sculpt clay, along with learning even basic art techniques, vocabulary words, and we also go over uh, art history as well. So I'm fully confident in everything, um, knowing that it's virtual, it's going to be a challenge, but I'm ready for it and I'm excited for what's to come. You want me to just start or are you going to introduce me? <laughs> you go for it. I'll just start. <laughs> Hi, all. My name is Gary Schleimer. I do smile. 
my wife surprised me with that picture when we were at dinner the other night, so sorry. Uh, I am all things theatrical at HG Hill. This is my second year. Uh, I've been uh, involved with theater, film, and TV since 1986, so I'm experienced. Um, we have a lot of fun in theater, uh, at least we did last year and we will this year. Uh, we do put on a musical every year. Uh, we also uh, will have a celebration with uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, Black History Month. Obviously, in our current situation, those may not be possible, but we will wait and see and hope for the best. Uh, your kids will be on their feet, despite the fact that we are, are not in a classroom. I will be teaching from my classroom, and I'm going to ask as many of them as I can to to participate in read plays and get on their feet and uh, recite plays and things of that nature. I play a lot of games and I look forward to seeing the new fifth graders and all the returning kids to theater. Thanks. All right, hey everybody, I'm Mr. Schumann. <clears throat> um, this is gonna be my third year teaching, second at HG Hill, really excited to start this next year, <clears throat> um, even though it is virtual, you know, uh, we're still gonna be able to do a lot of things with the kids and continue to to enhance their learning uh, through different ways um, than the normal, but that's okay. We're gonna adapt uh, to the new circumstances. So uh, for me, I uh, graduated <clears throat> from University of Wisconsin La Crosse with physical education and adapted uh, PE. And just some of my, you can see on the screen, I just I enjoy playing all sports. I also coach football and basketball, uh, going for hikes, and we just got a new dog, uh, Australian Shepherd. So he's a lot of fun, keeping us busy, and uh, just making videos and stuff. So that's kind of some of my interests uh, as far as PE goes. I'm just trying to uh, develop and maintain a healthy, active lifestyle. It's the biggest thing uh, for these kids, and that's something that we can definitely do virtually. So you know, most days we're gonna get up and, and we're gonna get active. Um, and you know, once we get back in the classroom, uh, there'll be some different opportunities to play different games, uh, more team games. But in the meantime, it'll mostly be focused on uh, flexibility and fitness, um, doing some calisthenics and, and plyometrics and things like that. So I'm really excited for it. There'll also be a health uh, element and students will be required to do uh, health articles and discussion questions, and things like that a couple times a week. So super excited. Um, thank you guys for joining in. So this is uh, Mr. Harris. Uh, we have two PE coaches uh, and health coaches, so he unfortunately couldn't make it tonight. This is going to be his fourth year of teaching. I know uh, he's super excited for this year as well. Uh, his first with HG Hill, and he's a big sports guy too. Just likes going to games, you know, um, and playing games and things like that. So uh, me and him, like I said, we're going to be doing the same thing, just really making an emphasis on uh, that healthy, active lifestyle. So. Next up, we have Mrs. Lowe. Mrs. Lowe, are you on the call? She's not on the call. Can oh, she she was. somebody thumbs up? I'm going to go ahead and speak for her, if that's okay. This sure. is Dr. Jones, and Miss Lowe is going to be, used to be called the Encore Teacher. Um, they just changed the term. It's now AART, but she's going to be working with students who receive Encore services. The district provided her with us for 0.4 of the time, and we decided to use our budget and go ahead and purchase the rest of the 0.6. So she will be at HG Hill full time. And this is the first time that we will have someone like that with us full time. So we're very excited. She's going to be a wonderful addition to the Hill family and to the related arts team. In fifth and seventh grade in particular, the numbers are very high in enrollment, which is a wonderful problem. Uh, so with related arts, we did need to add a teacher to keep the class sizes um, 
at a, at a as low as we could. So teacher to ratio mattered. So she will be working with Encore and then for fifth and seventh grade, she also will be working with students during the related arts rotation. It's going to be um, somewhat of a combination. It is really focusing on the literacy skills of writing and speaking and listening. It will be somewhat of a debate. Um, and so it will really, especially thinking about issues that are happening and really getting passionate and taking a stance on things. So um, she can be here with us, but she's going to be a wonderful addition. Lastly, we have uh, Mr. Schumann. He is our rock band teacher this year. He will be doing just a seventh and eighth grade. Um, he's very experienced in this category. Um, he's a trumpet, a major trumpet player. Um, he has his own group, um, and they, you can see he has many awards, especially in the Maryland uh, area. We are so, so excited that uh, Mr. Schumann, uh, Dylan Schumann, will be with us again uh, this year throughout the uh, school year. So um, like we said at the beginning, the students are going to have two options this year for related arts. So in order for them to be placed appropriately, we ask uh, that all students fill out this survey. The link is right here on the page um, and we'll also post it, I believe, on different social media posts. Um, but we'll make sure that you guys have access to that. So make sure that uh, please have all the students fill this out so then they can be placed in classes and then uh, we're going to get rolling next week. So we're really excited about it. Um, thank you guys for tuning in and listening to us and um, we appreciate everything, so just looking forward to it. If you guys have any questions, um, this is the time for Q&A. I'm not seeing any questions in the chat box. Um, I'll let Mr. Bankett close us out, but I will say one thing um, before he does. Please know that we have described the related arts rotations in a document. We will have that posted and the survey is really letting us know if you would like to be in choir or bands and again that it will be for the full year and if you would like to be in rock band that will be a couple of days a week and that is for the seventh and eighth grade if you do not choose one of those you will be in the other related arts rotations as mr schumann described because we are virtual we are going to change the schedule just a little bit uh, people, if you are in choir and band, that is all year, but if you are in the regular related arts rotation, a student will be assigned for um, an entire nine weeks. We used to switch A and B weeks, and that is going to be a little bit challenging virtually. So whatever uh, not, um, related arts teacher they have, they will have that for the first full nine weeks. We do have some questions. Um, Mr. Schumann, this first one could be for you. How do you expect to be able to implement physical education in a virtual environment? Yeah, thanks, Julia, for asking. Um, that's a good question. And like I said, um, it's going to be kind of difficult to do things with equipment because some students have equipment and some students don't. Um, so I'm going to get an idea of what students do have. If students are able to get some sort of ball, even a basketball or soccer ball, uh, we can work on sports skills. Um, but to start the year, we were for sure going to be doing just, I mean, everybody has their own body. So we're going to be working on, you know, different stretching, uh, calisthenics, you just get the kids moving around. Uh, I'm going to teach them different exercises that they can do um, just in their own home. So that's really going to be the focus. You know, I, I hope that students can get access to, you know, if it's a soccer ball, basketball, and you know, we can work on some of those skills. Um, but like I said, the equipment might be an issue, but for sure, everybody has their own body that they can use. So that's kind of going to be the main focus to start off the year. Is there a deadline to sign up for the related arts? Yes, there is a deadline. Our deadline cutoff is going to be next Thursday. Um, we're trying to make sure that we are able to put all the students into a related arts. So the deadline will be next Thursday. 
Uh, we signed up for related arts, but might have to want to change it to ban. I think the best thing is go ahead and just put in there, uh, put a new one in for the ban, and I will see that and I'll be able to make that change for you. Will the rock band teacher be biased and only pick good students, or will he give the bad ones a shot? So, um, in general, we're we're in, we're allowing anybody who wants to be in uh, rock band to be in rock band when they sign up for it. Um, I don't really believe in bad students versus good students. We have all scholars, so we're going to give everybody the opportunity um, who wants to be in rock band to actually be in rock band. So hopefully that answers your question. And that would do it. Again, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to reach out to me or somebody at the school and we'll definitely answer the questions. We thank you for coming over to the Related Arts. Please do not forget um, the rest of the uh, open houses for the different grade levels will, will be happening uh, this week. Today starts with the fifth grade at 6.30, so please uh, be on time and if you have questions for our fifth grade team you can meet them too again thank you for coming out to hu hill